gonna take care of Elenario <laughs> while Rain is gone. Huh? What? <laughs> Rain is your protector, isn't he? Oh, uh, Larry is, is, is old enough that she can protect herself. I doubt it, but okay. She, she doesn't need a babysitter. That's kind it's of... It's safe to say she is prepared for the eventuality of assassins. Really? Yes. Okay. Let's see, base speed for the party is 30, so I'll just copy this column into, uh, so into Skype here. Looks like, uh, I mean, like, seeing as how you can, like, move, like, through three hexes through the jungle in a day, I mean, maybe, like, less than three weeks, if they fucking book it. takes three days to just move through a jungle hex now? Well, uh, let's see. Oops. Suddenly... No, that was, that was the exploration thing. Yeah. Hello, where are you? It's like, uh, I was following yeah, your was... normal guidance. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. Hey. Like, that's... It, it looks to me that it's less than three weeks to, uh, for them to get all the way down there. It's actually a slower time through the crazy tunnels because of how weird and difficult the terrain is instead of the jungle. Yeah. And it's implied that since Bad Aiden is coming along as well, but the token isn't set up, I think. Since it broke after I did it, and then I didn't bother because it's not going to, co uh, to participate in any combat anyways. Well, He's the, buying instead. The bat flaps along happily. Yes. Flappy bat. Yes. So the bat bat weeks. scout for you now? Popular game. Mm -hmm. Flappy bat. The flappy bird. <laughs> it's in the darkest bat. Well, yeah. All right. Flappy bird bat. So that takes care of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Um, you know, in the coming weeks, Qual will come with different suggestions for laws and stuff. He, um, it seems to be very much sort of a, almost like a martial law. Uh, guy, so to speak. Uh, many of the things like is to basically prohibit like stealing, murder, like obvious things like that. Sure. Um, whatever, whatever is needed to to increase stability of society. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, although to Eleanor's mind, he seems to be uh, more more inclined in actually constructing laws that are not like. Like outlandishly strange, or weird, or contradictory as such. He seems to have a somewhat uh, keen interest in having laws that are sort of somewhat logical to follow. Let's say. I mean, she's, she's okay with that. I mean, she doesn't consider herself subject to any of them, of course. No, no, no of course. <laughs> but um, you know, the people should have an easy, easy time of understanding the laws. That is, that is fine. She doesn't require arbitrary laws. I mean, some things, of course, uh, will. For example, the uh, if he tries to somehow make the cult of Agaris, uh sort of so so that it is wrong to pick people from there, or it basically goes against what's already been decided. Of course, that will be rejected. But no, yeah. he he doesn't really suggest anything like <laughs> like obviously going against anything that was discussed. That is the main uh, main importance. Yep. But you see, by doing this law and this law, by technicality, this was the only outcome. Exactly. All right. And uh, um, yeah, so a lot of signing into law, a lot of discussing with him. Yes. Does Alnara do anything else? Uh, she will uh, visit uh, Daria when she has uh, has the time to. Yeah, and Daria is in the laboratory. A um, certainly very uh, strange place in the tower. Um, probably have you? Yeah, I don't think you've been in there before, even. No, no. Let me I'll take a look. So uh, it seems like her lab is sort of split up in two rooms. Um, the the first like the first main lab Alnari enters through is uh, like a, this wonderland of strange vials, bubbling cauldrons, esoteric apparatuses, uh, like 
really strange like like machinery in here that uh, Larry can only like guess to the functionality of honestly. Uh, it looks it looks well kept, um, um, you know, uh, and um, it seems to like in in connection to this. And Daria also has uh, what she calls the uh, the factory with a you know, playful smile. Uh, looking in here, Larry can see a lot of like uh, what she would guess like potion brewing. Uh, equipment and things like that. Many strange vials also here with like odd, like deadly looking green liquids and stuff like that in here. Um, the most wondrous and strange of all the chambers of Andara Sevastia, however, is the uh, the uh, mycological uh, laboratory, her mushroom farm, basically. Uh, a darkened chamber that, that houses, houses this bizarre wonderland of fungi that grow in small clay vessels beneath um, what looks like a vi uh, violet uh, luminescent slime that covers the ceiling and sort of bathes these, uh, these fungi in, in this like weird alien glow. Uh, most are small, but uh, it seems like particularly two are almost like man-sized and uh, pulsating with this like strange green light. Uh, and if Alner looks close, she can see what looks like a brain almost floating in one of them, sort of glowing out. Elinary will inquire to the different things. Yes. I'm interested in knowing what research is being done and what use it might have. Yes, uh, and Daria is, uh, is uh, of course, pleased to, uh, to explain that uh, this is where she does most of her uh, research into the, as she says, the, the cutting edge of knowledge when it comes to the, uh, to the workings of this, the strange creatures in the, uh, in the fungal jungle. She will... Um, um, she will you know, uh, show her the, the different vials and laboratory equipment and, and try to explain. I mean, oh, Lori, I, I don't think she has anything in alchemy, right? No. No. I mean, she, she, has to, she, she grasps like basic <coughs> concepts maybe, but the, uh, certainly the, the, the fine-tuned tune, uh, purposes of all this is somewhat alien to her. But Andoria seems very eager to... Uh, 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 to like discuss and explain. Uh, what Alnar gathers is that in the the first chamber, she she does a lot of uh, like uh, beneficent potion brewing, uh, as she says. You know, she she explains that she can uh, she can boil uh, and cook potions of healing. She can cook uh, up potions of invisibility, things like that, things to aid and help. Um, over in the more dangerous-looking room, uh, it is—it's uh, made clear by um, Alnar that this is basically a, like a poison-making uh, area of the lab, uh, and that the many components and like strange liquids in here could uh, could uh, certainly be uh, used to make very deadly poisons. And Daria explains that uh, for the moment she, she, well, she was commissioned by the. Uh, the former Baroness, she doesn't even recognize the sort of family connection uh, in front of Alnari, uh, that um, she was commissioned by her to produce m much of the sleep poison that the garrison uses. Mm -hmm. All right, That's, that seems to be fine. Yep. Uh, Alnari will inquire as to the use of the research, and for example, the two brain mushrooms. Yes, uh, and Daria will smile and says, Oh, matron, you do ask the most pertinent questions. She smiles. These are the real interest of my research, you see. She, like, moves close and, like, moves her hand, like, slowly, gently over one of the mushrooms. And it's almost like it, it quivers. And you can see, like, this, this faint, like, spark of electricity, like, running up it for, for a split second. These strange funguses. I have cultivated these for many years. They are an amalgamation of, well, my own blend of research and arcane studies, as well as the strange and reality-altering force that seems to permeate the fungal jungle. I think I uh, told you before of some of the a strange history of that place, yes? 
culinary knowledge. She feels like she is fairly familiar with it. Yep. <clears throat> yes, I uh, do not know as much as I want. As I have said before, expeditions have been um, and not that great uh, for the time being. But with the resources I have, these two specimens have been cultivated. It has taken a long time, Matron, to do this. But they are not yet complete. They exhibit strange powers. It is as if an otherworldly influence or mind permeates these. And she sort of you know, holds out her hand. If you approach Matron, you can also feel this otherworldly presence. Ellen Airy will do so, but she'll be cautious because she has an idea of what it might be. Uh, yeah, she she approaches. She uh, she does feel weird when she approaches. Sort of again, like the world comes like uh, unbalanced for a second. Like she, you know, she she loses her sense of direction, uh, and she can hear like almost like a, f- a faint at the edge of her hearing. These uh, like st- strange, like alien, like mumblings. Almost, she doesn't really understand what it is, so she, she doesn't really hear it that clearly, but it's, it's, it's like on the edge of her consciousness. Hmm. Uh, she will look concerned and look at uh, Daria. Say, what do you know of this? What do you know of them? What have you found out through your studies? As I said, they have this strange mind that seems to cultivate inside them. She smiles. I have tried to encourage growth in this direction to stimulate more reactions. She looks at them. Um, they, they can be dangerous to the touch. If it's, It seems they have a basic understanding of self-perseverance. I do not think they are unintelligent, Matron. I think simply that they are unconcerned with... Uh, mortal or corporeal life forms such as us. There is a mind in here, and I have, in other experiments, uh, introduced different creatures uh, to the presence of these uh, funguses. And they have experienced a possibility to not only touch other minds, but also influence them in a way. A, uh, a touch of madness, if you will. But every not slowly. This is something I think the Zan would be very interested in. She seems a little bit concerned. Uh, Matron, uh, I hope you do not intend to take my research away from me. Why are you shaking it? No. Soon, however, we plan to have a uh, sand scholar move here to aid us with uh, our irrigation of the fungal jungle. He seems to think, a sand scholar, you say, matron? Ah, yes, that is the, the, the gr- that is why you're building that grand foundation outside of, of, uh, of the, uh, the main tower, isn't it? It is. We need a suitable place for such a person to be. Perhaps you could uh, work with him. He seems to think, and I can basically see you know, the cogs sort of spinning behind her, uh, behind her, uh, her brain here as she thinks, and then she says, "Matron, if I were given access to a laboratory of that." size and stature the resources i the, well my my research it would it could yield fantastic results matron oh nearly not Slow. the the benefits to your rule and the kingdom itself you I ask of you, become my patron, matron, and the full breath of my genius will, uh, will be at your disposal. 
Well, there he sort of looks at her and says, The others in the council do not trust you. The commander, Tetha Qual, the torturer, my siblings, none of them give you any confidence. They think you are a liability, a danger to them. They do not want you to have any sort of power or responsibility. They would see you sit here, doing nothing, locked in your laboratory. Soon enough, they would perhaps choose to end your life. I am holding them from doing so, as I see great potential in our relationship. Doria, you know, crooks in her brow and says, Matron, they fear what they cannot understand. My research is <clears throat> incredibly complex. And with all due respect to your vaunted family, Matron, none of them seems to have the necessary capacity to understand my research. It is natural to lash out against something unknown, something perceived as dangerous. But the benefits are considerable if I would be allowed to pursue it. She bows again. I have said so before, and I say it again, Matron, I have no intention of betraying you. There is simply <coughs> nothing in it for me. Honorary nods. And I know so. I do not trust you as I do not trust anyone. She nods. Obvious. However, I do see you as a valuable ally. Now, what I need to do is prove that you are such to my siblings. You appear to be a capable woman, and as such, you should be able to prove yourself with what you have. For now, this tower will be given to the Zan. However, I would wish you to talk to him. I would wish you to, to explore his mind and see what what more you can learn from his presence here. If possible, we want him to to indulge in his curiosity. The Zen are a people of, um, of little understanding of much. However, they have within them great curiosity and they are scrupulous in their uh, methodology in uh, finding more uh, information. Besides, she looks at that area, Agaris teaches us to never leave information unused and to always seek more. The secrets of our world and the secrets of the fungal jungle surely will be, as you, will be of use to us, and I need you to unlock them. In time, when the, primar when the primary setup has been produced, when we have a steady income, and when the funds are available, I shall grant you a place to work worthy of the results you have brought. Doria seems to consider that she says, I, uh, I will do then my utmost, Matron, to produce results that would benefit the kingdom. If you do so, then I'm sure a laboratory will come sooner rather than later. Would you then at least indulge me in, into uh, perhaps telling me what are the kingdom's current needs? Well, maybe not. At the moment, the kingdom's current needs are much in the way of uh, food and production, attempts to grow, uh, mm, irrigate and produce uh, food will be the next two years work we shall claim the, our way to the fungal jungle where we shall rid it of some of its growth to make controlled plantations uh, um, orchards and farming areas to feed a larger growing population if yields from such could be improved in some manner he seems to consider. Perhaps that is not usually where I have concentrated my research, but I can uh, try my best to think of something. 
she does and says, then what have you concentrated your research upon? Uh, intelligent mushrooms, all be they fascinating, are not an immediate demand. She, uh, she smiles. Uh, perhaps not, matron. My, most of my time was taken up by brewing potions, narcotics, and other poisons for the garrison. My spare time was dedicated to the mushroom and the mushroom colonies. I have, however, some intricate knowledge. Perhaps then, if this San scholar can be persuaded to come here, uh, perhaps then, yes, an exchange of ideas, as it were, could produce something interesting. Well, very not. Uh, his people surely are closer to these creatures, suggests to the mushrooms, than we. Perhaps he will be able to understand. The sand do have a, uh, a field of uh, telepathic energy. Uh, of course, explaining the situation to him would be paramount. We could not have him, uh, I should say, grow insane within uh, the main tower. I do not think these uh, cerebric mushrooms uh, actually extend much out of this room, matron. The otherworldly influence of them seems to be rather localized at the moment. Very nice. What I wanted to make sure of was that you knew your uh, place in the current government. You have the possibility to prove yourself to me, and I shall grant you what you require to continue your research. And if that proves even more fruitful, more shall be granted. Results are what we require, Andaria. Results. Results. I understand perfectly, Matron. Results is what I can produce. However, as always, research takes time. Oh, maybe not. And take your time, then. Once results are here, we shall consider improving your um, research possibilities. She nods. It will be at the forefront of my mind. I'm sure, after the recent change of leadership, you actually have a chance to not only reach the fungal jungle and take all the specimens from there you wish, but to even cultivate them and to speak to the natives of it. Much can surely be learned. Do you know Certainly, Matron. I await the arrival of this, of this Exxon researcher then with a bated breath. She smiles. And I will read, read news of your progress. Keep me updated. Two notes. Oh, and if you require some uh, uh, company in some form of another, two intelligent women can surely have a conversation. I have uh, terribly few like-minded people around me. She, uh, she nods. An inconvenience I know far too well, matron. It shall be my great pleasure, then, to indulge your curiosity. One air will uh, nod slowly, slightly, and uh, then take her leave. Yep. Yeah. Well, Daria seems to return to research. Yes, during the nights, the upcoming days, there is, uh, there is a study circle in Trislin's room. Uh -huh. As, uh, as uh, Tarlin pops in. You know, the, the, for, for the night, uh, when he appears, he is... Uh, uh, he is... Uh, not really dressed. Uh, he doesn't come with his arms and armor, that's for sure. Uh, he is dressed with something uh, more um, sort of elegant, you would guess. 
Um, it's not really. Uh, it's not really workers' clothes. Uh, Tristan would guess it's some sort of uh, fashion, actually. Uh, she hasn't really been in you know, draw society much, so she couldn't really say. But uh, there is uh, there is certainly something uh, uh, evocative and intriguing about the sort of strange uh, sort of cuts and uh, uh, style of the of the different like uh, like shirt and coats uh, combination that Tarling wears. It makes him look quite dashing, and he seems to actually know it. Uh, okay, so knowledge fashion next, I guess. <laughs> yep. Is there even knowledge fashion? Yeah, you could go for uh, knowledge nobility or knowledge local. I think I'm equally good at both. All right. Uh, <laughs> the nobility, yeah, both. This nobility went well last time. Uh, I can barely see what this says. I have too many nobility uh, knowledge skills. 13, that's not very good. 13? Yeah, not really. She, she, um, she uh, she she's pretty sure it's some sort of uh, yeah like drow fashion. Uh, it she she couldn't really say from where you know or what style it's inspired of. Uh, but you know it's, it's it looks uh, it looks good on him at least. He 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 wears it with confidence. Let's say. Uh huh. On that note, uh, Tristan will. Why not? Um, say. Nice attire. He, uh, you know, he smiles and say, "Yes, well, one can uh, only be dressed in uh, leather armor and breastplates for so long before it becomes uh, bothersome." He smiles, and I, I do hope I do not need my my armor in your room, Trislin. He looks over at Sakari. Mm, Tristan looks at Sakari and says, "No, he he will protect us if needed, or I will protect you if needed." Tallest miles. Um. So how does this work, Jonas? <laughs> yes. How does this work? How does this work? Let me tell you a little something. Oh, the flower. Oh the God, bees. are we? G- no. <laughs> no. No, uh, well, uh, you know, you, Tristan, offered Tarlin to teach him about Agaris. Yes. So, what, what is she? What, what aspect of Agaris is he? Is she going to be talking about? I kind of hope that I'll just be rolling some <laughs> um, religion rolls, and you'll say, "Well, it went great." <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that is not how it's going to be then. You can go for a portfolio, go for a domain. Um, I think the important thing to go first would get yeah, domains, I guess. I said you're a PM of things. <laughs> you look at it and decide what you think might be useful. Well, this rich, so my brother gives me a list of things I should talk to him about. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to him about this. This is like mm. this is like date counselor. Maybe we should talk his hair. Um. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Why, thank you, Tristan. He like moves his hand closer to hers. What? Are we what? Okay, okay. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just still get confused. So this is where it's best to be in the shell. Thanks a lot, Rilinit. Oh, Tristan, you're so charmingly befuddled all the time. Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure, domains. She will go with domains with him and... Hmm. Yes. This, why are you putting me on the spot? It's very unnerving. 
It's a role playing game you're supposed to role play. It's... I, I know. Okay. But this is very unnerving. Um, you can ask him to leave. That would be kind of weird. Welcome. Leave. Well, Drizzle has uh, some, something of a reputation of being weird. She does, but uh, asking people to leave doesn't... in when, Especially the way uh, Elenary looked at her very well done, sister, when she... Uh, said sure she can teach people about this but the fact that the only one who came is Tarlin says a lot your first lesson is to learn patience Come it's back the tomorrow. only one who currently doesn't have any kingdom thing to do I think well we should send him out to kill people then so he does have things to do well um it's, she's gonna go with stuff that the, the domains and what the uh, Agaris likes, dislikes, well, how you could come in favor with her. Mm -hmm. And I have to make up some holy days. Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. Uh, you, you, can make a, you can make a knowledge uh, religion role. It's my best skill. I hope I go do well. Hooray! Uh... What? So Tristan actually blabbed the final exam. <laughs> She's so nervous. nervous. Do you remember what? to update it on your token and everything? With all the bonuses you have? Nope, I did not. I forgot that part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the highest skill, but uh, it's not really. Okay, it's one um, I should. We should add... Let's see. I'm looking at the wrong one. I am nervous for some reason. <laughs> I guess Graham's very upset at you who teach the wrong things. Well, Tarlis is the <laughs> list. Uh, it takes uh, plus seven to that. That's a fifteen. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, no, it's it's a it's a basic understanding. I will add that before I forget it. Oh yeah. First. I don't need to do any more, do I? <laughs> well, if you, uh, you know, I can't force you, I guess. Um, yeah, you know, Tarlin will certainly listen intently to all of this and, uh, and uh, seems to take mental notes. Mental. He, he's not going to write any of this down. Oh, he, he seems to enjoy uh, listening to Trislin speak. Well, that's not the reason he's here. Well, it, well, it, might be his, drooling. it might be his reason. Yeah, maybe it's his reason for being here. Okay. <laughs> Do that with them. Uh, <laughs> well, by by the end of the uh, of the session, uh, Tarlin will uh, get up and you know, bow to Tristan and thank for uh, thank her for all the fantastic knowledge she has imparted. Um, but he will. Uh, he will think on it. Uh, Tristan will smile and be happy about it. <laughs> and I, yeah, she is gonna be. Her her face is gonna be flushed. Hmm. Tarlin. Uh, Tarlin seems to like for a, for a split second, like uh, try to reach for her hand, but uh, seems to stop himself. And uh, then instead, just you know, give her a formal bow and and leave and disappear out. I think that's a good idea because uh, Tristan is kind of in a distress right now and I think in that distress Sakari would might react to it and maybe <laughs> like stop growling at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it was something like that he saw in the eyes of Sakari and he has backed off. Sakari like, that's close enough. Okay, cool. Yep, he stalks out. Then I'm gonna find out where I write these stuff because it's not the same. Okay. You need to fix the stuff. Hmm. No, the this the skill of, uh it its skill is not the same as the but I guess it, no, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Hmm. Alright. 
so for the for the fantastically lavish diplomatic uh, envoy, uh, 